Hi guys and welcome to the FIFA 23 SBC video. EA have released the road to the knockout at Savio Maria, 85 rated. We'll have a look at his uh, his stats and what he requires in a second. A lot of Edivis cards have been released today because in squad foundations, the first set of squad foundations have been released today in the milestones tab. We can get like maybe four or five pretty decent Edivis players. You've got the Gakpo player of the month as well. That's still available to you. So there's a lot of good Edivis players now available in the game, which is good to see. Uh, now currently in terms of how PSV are doing in their group, they've only actually played two games they've got to play Arsenal I believe they've got to play them twice I'm not um, too sure but I think they've got to play them twice uh, Arsenal on six points PSV on four points Bodo Glintz on four points as well but where's goal difference compared to PSV and then Jurek are on zero points Bodo Glintz and Jurek have played one game more than PSV and Arsenal so PSV in a pretty decent position to at least qualify you would think I don't know if they'll get the two wins in the final three or four matches but um, certainly in terms of him going to an 86, I can very much see that. Four-star scum was in freestyle weak foot. Seems to be a bit of the norm. There's so many players right now, and I don't have a problem with this. I've used plenty of players so far in this game. Haaland is, is, is a prime example of that, who's a freestyle weak foot player, but is still insane in-game. Um, so I wouldn't be put off too much by that. Obviously, his four-star scum was as nice. Can he play anywhere else? No, he can. you can't even play him as a right midfielder, which is pretty interesting. Literally only as a right winger for him. But that not, you know, it's not... Maybe not the best of versatility, but on the whole, it's still not too bad because he's going to be a bit of a monster on that right hand side. His pace is fantastic. His shooting, apart from his shot power, is really good. His passing is, um, you know, is superb. So when it comes to his crossing vision and short passing, it would be nice for that curve to be a little bit higher, but it's not the end of the world. His dribbling stats are very interesting because his ball control, balance, and uh, in-game dribbling are insane. But that reactions and composure is going to give him. He, he will need both upgrades, otherwise he has got a very, very limited shelf life in this game. Reactions and composure stats are extremely important. I mean, reactions are important for any player in the game. Composure is especially important for an attacker, and he lacks in those stats, even for this stage of the game, severely. Like, really, really badly. Um, and nothing for player traits either. I would like this to be no more than an 83 rated, and you have to put in one 84 rated. But let's see what it's going to require. Okay, so we're almost correct. It's an 83 rated and you have to put an 85. I guess that if they get to two upgrades, I guess that's not too bad. I mean, realistically, who is going to be using a full... I mean, there could be someone that could use a full Brazilian team, but not many people are going to be using a full Edivis team. The thing where he could be good is, I suppose, maybe as a super sub, he could be all right. But at the same time, even if he gets both upgrades, those reactions and composure aren't going any higher than 75. That's the very maximum they'd go to with the two upgrades. He probably wouldn't even get to that stage. And he's also not guaranteed to get the two upgrades. Big red flag. Big red flag, those two stats, in all honesty. I mean, obviously, you've got the two, um, you know, squad foundation objectives available at the moment. And milestones, you obviously can get a few players. That window looks pretty good. You can get a fullback there as well on the right-hand side from Feyenoord. And then there is also um, someone from uh, Alkmaar there. And then uh, there's also this guy here as well from NEC Brada, I think the called or something like that as a striker. But on the whole, it, it's one of those cards. When you look at him in terms of his face stats, let me have a look at his face stats again. He probably looks pretty good in face stats, and he does. You know, he's got 88 pace, uh, 87 dribbling, and then, you know, respectable shooting for a winger and nice passing. And don't get me wrong, his passing is really, really good, and there's certain aspects of his dribbling that I really, really like. However, reactions and composure for an attacker are some of the most key stats, and they're just, they're not there. They, they really aren't. So it's one of those where, yeah, you're not having to put too much in for him, which is obviously good. An 83 rated team with an 85. Uh, 185 needed to be submitted. It's not too bad, but personally, on the whole, would I be putting him into a starting 11? Absolutely no. I guess he would be fun to use maybe in foot friendlies or as part of a bit of a fun squad to play against friends or whatever. But are you taking this guy into high end division rivals or foot champs? You, no, not at all. Um, because even if he gets both upgrades, those stats are meaning he's just going to lack in being a really, um, you know, good end product player he's just he's, he will not be that it doesn't matter what the rest of his stats are reactions and composure are so important and he's just absolutely nowhere with them which is a bit of a shame and his stamina as well isn't great at the same time so yeah uh, as as a fun card he he is pretty cool but don't be expecting um him to be a game changer because he he certainly will not be but anyway guys that i'll finish this video thank you for watching and i will see you all later